scenes of jubilation and triumph are evident throughout the entire world as CMF international missionaries stationed at the front lines are continuously ministering using the two hands of the gospel, forever proclaiming the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and unwaveringly demonstrating the love of God. CMF international missionaries have adopted a vast spectrum of resources to transport this very special consignment to the unriched peoples groups in the uttermost ends of the earth. Welcome to World Mission News. I'm Etuate Sukanevaru. Also in this program, we hear testimonies of first generation Christians in some of the unriched peoples groups our missionaries have been working with. In Kenya, we take a first hand look at the construction of school buildings for the Turkana people along with reports from the Mathari slums in Nairobi. From the heart of the Maasai lands in Tanzania, the opening of a locally built church and a heartfelt testimony by a grass hut dweller in the hills of Rwanda. Good evening and welcome to the program. As humanitarian crisis group Central Africa, millions of people have been displaced by rebels in refugee camps. Diplomatic efforts to resolve the crisis are at full pitch, but amidst all these, CMF international missionaries continue to remain focused and advance the mission work, at all costs for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We will now cross over to Ndikasa with a report from the Turkana tribe in Kenya. Thank you, Etuate. Here in the Turkana land, there is a thirst for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our missionaries, Pastor Sakaraya Mataka and David John, have been working tirelessly in proclaiming the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. In recent years, they have planted 10 new churches in areas where the gospel has been heard for the very first time. It is a place where it takes 8 hours to fetch 5 gallons of water daily and a place where education is the least of daily priorities. For the very first time, a school building has been built for the Turkana tribe. Vibrant and energetic sounds of rejoicing and singing drowned out the feeling of exhaustion and tiredness as they all helped in the construction of their very own school. This elderly woman, old mama, wanted to at least carry a brick and lay it as a seed at the foundation of the school building because historically her granddaughter is going to attend school for the very first time. It's a very exciting time for us here in Turkana as this school will provide education for up to 200 children from six villages in the Turkana lands. Please relay our thanks and appreciation to all of you who have given for this course. This is Ndika Savona for World Mission News. Back to you, Etuate. Thank you, Tikasa. Amongst the slums of the Mathari in Nairobi, Kenya, around half a million people have been displaced from the post-election unrest of 2007. Amongst these are innocent children who have lost their parents, and a majority of these parents have been victims of the deadly virus AIDS. Malakai Wula with his story. Thank you, Etuati. Here in the Mathari slums, our tent-maker missionaries, Pastor Maika and Mrs. Makelisi Makiro, have been working closely with an orphanage center, providing food for children between the ages of 2 months to 15 years. This has led to the provision of accelerated education for the orphan children. I am proud to bring to you good news that a new church building was opened in November 2011, right here in Nairobi. For the past two years, they have established six churches and 20 cell groups that now have the vision of developing into churches in years to come. How exciting is that? Thank you, faithful common partners and friends of CMF International, for all your giving. This is Mark Kaibola for World Mission News. Back to you, Etuan. The journey to fulfill the Great Commission in the United Republic of Tanzania through our missionary, Pastor Onisiworo Masiamete, has seen churches planted, leaders raised, borders crossed, faith stretched, missionaries added, relationships established and strengthened, Bible schools built, and what seemed to be the impossible then is now an outbreak with the locals at the forefront. Catherine Mika, a first Maasai female pastor, recently testified, quote, I used to worship trees, stones, mountains and animals before I found Jesus through a Fijian missionary, unquote. Pastor Catherine was able to visit the World Harvest Center in recent years just to share her testimony of how the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ has transformed her completely to who she is today. 
overwhelmed and filled with tears of joy, Pastor Oni was officially invited by the Maasai to be present at the opening of their newest church, which they built from local materials such as tree branches and mud. Traveling on track roads by motorcycle just to get to where the church was located, Pastor Oni was inspired by the fact that before he arrived, the Maasai had already gathered and were singing hymns while waiting proudly inside their new church. From the land of a thousand hills live the Batwa Pygmies. They are a tribe who were driven from their traditional hunting grounds and were forced to live in the hills as a result of the Rwanda genocide. Missionaries have been assisting them rebuild their lives and have built homes for more than 30 families. Among the Batwa lives Bonafasi, who owns land that is adjacent to where the Batwa community are residing. Bonafasi has been freely supplying stones and sand from his land for all the houses that have been built in this community. Quote, all my life I have been living under a grass hut and life was very hard for me, especially during the rainy season. Whenever it rained, everything inside would get wet, including me. If I'm sleeping in the middle of the night, I would stand up and wait for the rain to stop or I would try to light a fire to keep myself warm. I had to replace the roof with new leaves every now and then, but now I don't worry about those things anymore. I am very happy to have a home that I call my own and the Musungus can continue to take as much stones and sand as they want because I can never repay them for what they have done for me." Unquote. Ladies and gentlemen, because you gave, our missionaries have been able to plant 1,500 churches in the last eight years. We have therefore created history as most of these churches are first Christian churches since Jesus gave the Great Commission. Thank you for joining us. I'm Etuate Sukanevalu, World Mission News. Good evening.